Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in the beautiful Nashville studios today. And I'm going to talk about our new, our exciting dead weight trigger weight. <laughs> you know, many of you know that we manufacture and uh, produce and, and distribute the Pyramid Trigger, the best aftermarket trigger for your Glock. Uh, reduces the trigger pull, it's shorter, it's lighter, it's crisper, it's made out of aluminum, titanium coated, uh, titanium nitride coated trigger bar. It, it really improves your shooting experience. It allows you to shoot faster, more accurately. Da 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 da. It's a great, great product. Uh, but I've always wanted to, you know, be accurate in, well, what is the trigger pull? Because we can kind of play with it based upon the springs we use and the connector we use and all that. And um, so I've never, you know, uh, been satisfied with those uh, spring weights that, you know, pull the trigger pull because they're just so inconsistent. So we developed what I call the dead weight trigger weight. And this is it. And if you've got a, dread, a dead weight trigger weight, I'm going to show you how to set it up. And if you don't have one, you're probably going to need one after you watch this video. So it comes to you in a box, of course. Uh, but this is what you get. You get the bar, okay? And you get uh, uh, a variety of different weights. So you'll get a, a one pound, another one pound, a half pound, and a quarter pound. The base consists of a two pound and a three pound. The, the three pound screws on. I'm going to screw it off here real quick for us. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how to set this up and how to test a trigger. Uh, of your own gun. Now, like I said, you know, we, we test our pyramid triggers and I like to see where they're at. This is my personal Glock 45. It's a carry gun. Okay. It's got the 19 upper and the, uh, the 17 lower. Uh, I've got a pyramid trigger in it, of course. I'm going to make sure it's empty and it is. There's no magazine in it, no magazines in this room. And I suggest you always do the same thing whenever you're testing and playing with guns. Make sure they are empty. Don't be afraid to double check it. All right. So here's your your uh, bar. Here's the base. The base has a hole in it and a little set screw. The bar has a flat spot in which to lock it in. You just stick that bar right in there and then screw the, uh, uh, the, uh, the set screw down so it captures that bar and uh, keeps it uh, in the right spot. It doesn't move at all. So just screw it down and there we are. And that's our, that's our two pound weight right there. Let me tighten that up just a little bit more. Okay. Boom. So there's our two pound weight. All right. Now I know this gun is already set up. I've already done it. It's between four and a half and four, four, four and a half. And that's perfect for concealed carry. It's a great option for you to consider if you're going to carry concealed. Glock factory is typically five and a half. So we've reduced this with our pyramid trigger and the right spring setting uh, to about four to four and a half. I think it's actually four and a quarter to be exact. So I've got a two pound here, right? I'm going to go ahead and drop a one pound on it another one pound, which is four, right? And so I'm going to go ahead and rack the slide. Of course, the gun is empty. Come up here and put it right on that trigger. And let's see what happens. And it breaks right at four, right at four there. So I thought it was going to be a little bit more. I'll try it one more time. Ah, there's, there's four. Okay. So now let's go ahead and put my quarter pound weight on it. And there it is. Like I said, it's between four and four and a quarter. And that's a very good spot to be for concealed carry. And it's proven with a dead weight trigger weight. That's the goal, is to be able to have a consistent uh, measurement device to make sure that we, as manufacturers of this trigger, can you know, kind of ensure where they're at. Because people always say, well, how light is it? And they always ask, how light is too light? And it depends on what you're doing. If you're a competition shooter and you know that you are you know, skilled enough to handle a light, light trigger, uh, you can go two and a half three pounds easy with the pyramid trigger for com uh, concealed carry and self-defense we feel that you should be at four four and a half pounds and that's you know kind of industry standard people talk about a lot uh the glock like i said comes out of the factory at five and a half uh the bottom line is is it really comes down to you and your training and your skill level and so the cool the cool factor is really is that you you know we want it to be as light as possible but we don't want it to be too light that uh, in a court of law, someone's going to say, well, you didn't necessarily uh, mean to pull that trigger. It was an accident because it was so light it goes off by itself, <laughs> which is what lawyers will you know, twist the words and make you look like you're a bad guy. So for self-defense, home defense, again, four, four and a half is a good number. Competition, yes, you can get down to two and a half, three pounds. And uh, the lighter the trigger pull, now here's the concept, okay? Why do you want a lighter trigger pull? The lighter the trigger pull, the shorter the, the uh, travel of the trigger, the less likely you are to disturb the sights as you manipulate the trigger, which means as you line the sights up 
And as you pull the trigger, that's where the accuracy starts to come into play because you'll disturb the sight picture as you move your, your trigger finger. So the shorter, lighter trigger pull is going to allow you to have better accuracy. So if you're looking for a way to judge your trigger pull, the Deadweight Trigger Weight is the best solution on the market. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. We'll see you next time.